Hi guys, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well. So today one of the candidate was attended cyber security SOC operation for product development company. That product development company belongs to manufacturing based company. So they need internal cyber security SOC operation for L2 analyst. So whoever is applied for this particular vacancy, that candidate has uh, passed out in 2018. And he has he has put the experience of four plus years of experience. So in that particular interview, whatever they, they ask the questions, I'll explain now. So first interview explained about what is the role they are looking for. Obviously, it's L2 Cyber Security SOC operations. So later interview started. In that particular interview, whatever question they asked to candidate, first explain about your roles and responsibilities. So candidate was explained. 2018 he passed out but he put the overall experiences 4 plus only so then immediately inter asked back so you passed out in 2018 but you started career in 2020 so why 2 years gap was existing in between your education and also when the career you started so now candidate is responded back after completing BTEC I went to UK to complete masters part of the post graduation uh, due to some environmental and health related issues, I came back to India. That is the way how the convincing answer is provided by candidate. So two questions so far it's completed. One is uh, roles and responsibility and education gap. So next question is uh, what, are the, what is meant by cyber security? It's a general question. So don't say like uh, protecting of only endpoints. So protecting of endpoints, protecting of application, protecting of data, protecting of information, protecting of organization, protecting of uh, so network, protecting of, protecting of cloud, protecting of mobile, everything. 24 bar 73 65 days whenever attack is doing hacking part. So that particular security we can call it as cyber security. So next question. So what they asked. Uh, so in cyber security, what are the different types of subdomains are existing? Most of the people get confusion whenever this particular question they asked because whatever I taught in the class, it's a different. So whatever I taught in the class, it's a, uh, so what are the different subdomains and part of uh, subdomains are existing part of the tech, uh, security technologies or what are the different types of uh, subdomains are existing part of security technologies. But here, interest in different way. Under cyber security itself, how many different types of security technologies are existing? So indirectly or directly what you have to say, security operations, endpoint security, network security, application security, infrastructure security, physical security, cloud security, mobile, OT, IoT and so on. So because every uh, person has experience is different, don't get confusion here and there. So next question what they asked, so what is meant by transport layer and explain about transport layer and next question. Under transport layer as per OSA, which protocols will fall under? So next question once again. So as per OSA layers, explain about network layer. Okay. So these are all basics only. Uh, next question, what is mean by DLP and which DLP tools you work done? So a candidate explain about my set per view. What is my OCR in DLP? So, and also what is the difference between DLP and also SIM tool? Okay. The next question on the DLP side, what is the difference between structured data versus unstructured data? Okay. Next question, do you have experience on vulnerability management? So, whenever any vulnerability management reports are generated, how can you take care of the patch management? Okay. Obviously, we have to generate the scan reports after putting the scan policy and we can filter out the based on the risk score and severity related to critical high medium lower information and we will assign to vulnerability management team or asset team or server team or so uh, business team they will do the patch updates in development environment once they will complete the patch updates in the development environment they will come back to vulnerability management team as a part of the vulnerability analyst I will do, I will rerun these scans and I will verify whether all the patch updates are done or not. Later they will raise a change request and they will implement the production environment. This is the way how we have to give the answer. Next question, explain the what are the different types of policies we can configure under the DLP. 
and also explain about a firewall and a firewall will work in which layer as per OSA layer reference model. So obviously all these seven layers are matter. Next generation firewall has a capability of all these seven layers. So each and every layer how the firewall functionality it will work. So finally do you have any questions? So it's a very very basic questions only. Do you think that this particular interface is a little bit complicated and complex? There are no internal questions related to correlation rules, log onboarding, instant investigations, fine tuning, troubleshooting and also attacks names. So these are all basics only. I feel like it's average interview. Please comment it based on your experience. Thank you so very much. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice evening.